Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Family Sedan Channel, and I mean it when I say this. This is the most ridiculous content that I've ever had to cover in the history of me running this YouTube channel, which I launched in the middle of December of 2018. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever had to make a serious video about. Uh, the previous top was when I covered, which is something that is actually part of the story, the valuation model of uh, XRP at $122,582, uh, I'm sorry, $580. That's right. <laughs> over $122,000 per XRP. There's a valuation model, in case you guys missed it, put out by a, a group of people known as a confidential committee. Uh, most of, of them, or at least many of the people on this committee are not publicly known. It's very shadowy. Uh, it's not clear why, because even anonymous people would normally share ideas in public. You know, uh, I, I get it. It's the internet and everybody's sharing their last name. I'm not sharing my last name currently. Maybe I will in the future. I might do that. But, uh, you know, but they're not even sharing the content of the means. It's very strange stuff here. And uh, this is all put together by Jimmy Valley of Val Hill Capital. And uh, just to shred the idea, because I want to make sure everybody's caught up before jumping in here. And this is truly absurd stuff. But as far as the $122,000 valuation, it's fatally flawed. I made a 35-minute video breaking it down. But here's the parts that you absolutely must know before going forward as to why that, that model is flawed. It's because they have this ridiculous premise in the valuation model that states that all of the value on the planet will be on the XRP ledger. That's right. No competing platform, not any other cryptocurrency platform, not anything from the legacy finance. There's no value anywhere else. It's on the XRP ledger. So that's already absurd. And if I have to explain why further, then you might be beyond help, right? But we can take it a step further and explain further why it is fatally flawed, even beyond that being ridiculous. It's because the way that they came to the valuation of XRP being worth $122,000 is because they double counted. They said that here's all the value on the planet, and I think it was something like $6.2 quadrillion dollars in uh, you know, just worth of everything that exists on the planet, 6.2 quadrillion. And so uh, they divided the market cap, sir, oh, well, circulating supply of XRP a little over 50 billion. They came out to that $122,000 per XRP. So what they did was they said that value still exists, but now XRP is equal to that. That's a fatal flaw that didn't make it through their minds as they were putting this valuation together. They double counted. It's a fatal flaw. And these are the people now that are, that are allegedly the saviors. And, and look, there's a lot of people that are coming out and saying they're, they're outright scammers. I'll, I'll just say this, what the plan that they've put together here, in my humble opinion, I think it's crystal clear, and I'm going to try and persuade you on this, and you tell me what you think, if you think I'm wrong, that's fine, I like opinions, whether they, you know, whether you agree or disagree, but my perspective is that what has been put together here is not in the interest of XRP holders, it's in the interest of Jimmy Valley of Vale Hill Capital and uh, people uh, who are part of this confidential committee. And so what we're going to be covering here is the leaked buyback proposal. It was leaked on XRPchat.com. Uh, Jimmy Valley apparently not particularly happy about this. Uh, but it's it's a buyback proposal, and I'm sure you've heard a lot of talk. I've covered it. Everybody within the community has been talking about it to this point. But it's the idea that uh, you know the, the, the a government agency is going to pay you for your XRP in particular if we have a terrible outcome in the SEC v. Ripple case and it's not allowed in the United States. And the valuation that they're going for is $122,000. So let me tell you some additional things right at the outset because I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I don't want to make you wait for the most crucial stuff. So hear me now. Uh, what, and I'm just going to go in like off the top of my head here. Uh, so I'll, you know, we'll just kind of dive in further as we go through this video. But uh, what you need to know is basically as part of this buyback proposal, you need to hand the keys to your crypto. That's right. You need to hand your XRP over to Val Hill Capital. That's right. So to, as a start, this should be a non-starter for pretty much anybody. You ever heard not your keys, not your crypto? You know, have you seen what has happened with these, uh, these firms like, uh, you, you know, uh, Celsius, for example, which went bankrupt last year. You see, and, and BlockFi didn't fare well either, although, you know, there's some unfair stuff there at the SEC. But handing the, the keys to your crypto over to earn interest, like, that's bad enough, and enough people got burnt for that. But I think this is way worse than that. Handing over the keys to your crypto because you believe in a $122,000 valuation for XRP or some absurd number. Uh, so so that's the first thing where I'm like, nope. And, and, and you know, they do, he, they do state that they're going to have a custody partner who's supposed to be the trusted central authority. But again, that's a central authority. Why would you give up the keys to your beloved XRP? Why would why would anyone do that? So like having your XRP on exchange, not good. Having it in an interest-bearing account where it's lent out, much worse. Giving it to Jimmy Valley uh, so that it can be 
well, you'll see why it's bad as we go through this. Like, this is actually worse. And so again, that's the first part. You hand over the keys to your crypto. And what they give you in return, actually, it's an NFT. You get an NFT. Transaction complete. So you're no longer in charge of that. And the trusted third party has it. But who's really in charge of it? Who can call upon that escrow, the XRP that's escrowed? Well, that would be Val Hill Capital, of course. Not you. You hand it over and they give you an NFT on the XRP ledger. But you don't have your XRP anymore, right? And um, and then on top of that, if uh, it, oh check this out, they want it, it is it, you know it, as reimbursement. They're they're expecting the expenses for this to run up to a hundred million dollars, and that Vale Hill Capital is supposed to be reimbursed. And I'll show you the text on your screen: a hundred million dollars estimated. That is completely outlandish. And it turns out they, that apparently, from what I gather from what Jimmy Valley told me, because there are some interactions on Twitter, I'll show you in a, a few minutes here when we get to it. Apparently, uh, Vale Hill Capital, Jimmy Valley, intends to hire Sullivan and Cromwell in Simpson and Thatcher. That's right. He intends to hire Jay Clayton's uh, a, a law firm as well as Bill Hinman's law firm. Uh, to, uh, to to facilitate these transactions. And so that's assuming that they'd even be willing to take this on. He says they're very expensive. So we got some questions here. So again, the, the reason that uh, Jimmy Valley says that uh, Vale Hill Capital will need to be in, reimbursed for reasonable expenses, by the way, is what we call it. Reasonable expenses. And it'll be about $100 million. It's because the law firms are expensive. So he wants to hire very expensive law firms to help facilitate this. So where does he get the money to pay for the expensive law firms? Hmm? He says that your XRP will be held in escrow by a trusted custodian. But will it be used to pay for the law firms? And if not, if it's truly held, as promised, by a, a you know, trusted third party, if not. And we don't know who the third party is yet, by the way. That's not, that's not been determined. But if it's, if it's, if it's not going to be funded by you, the XRP holder, then where is Jimmy getting the funds to cover multi-million dollar attorneys that may be upwards of $100 million? That's not been answered either. And then get this, it gets even more ridiculous. If things don't go well, you, you have to, because you have to sign a document, mind you, in order to participate in this. If things don't go well, you are not allowed to sue him. It gets even worse though. Check this out. The confidential committee, they're being paid to recruit XRP holders to sign this document. I kid you not. And I'm going to prove all this. It's all in writing. There were, so that is the worst. Can you imagine a worse incentive model for something that's a, a allegedly, uh, you know, a, a done in good faith here? It's a bad incentive model. You, you're talking about people that are helping to put together these valuation models for XRP and this and that. And then if this goes through, they get to make a bunch of money. And then he, I mean, check this out, too. If things don't go well, uh, um, you know, you know, if any money comes in, you know who gets paid first? Val Hill Capital. Val Hill Capital gets paid first. And if there's not enough money to go around, you don't get anything, perhaps. That's a possibility, even if some money comes in. And it gets even worse, though. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not done. Uh, there's also something in here. And again, I'm going to show you the exact text. You get to read it for yourself. You don't even have to pull up the document if you don't want to. Although I don't encourage you to. I do encourage you to read this thing in its entirety. But the key portions here, I'm going to share with you. Let me take a sip of water here first. There's something in here which uh, states that um, if uh, people in the House, uh, elected officials in the House and Senate uh, you know, vote in a way that would facilitate, make this actually happen, that they'll get financial compensation. My friends, that's called bribery. And by the way, from my, uh, my, my research, just light research, Googling before recording this video, that is punishable by up to 15 years in prison. That's in the document that they want you to sign as an XRP holder to hand this over. I kid you not. <laughs> so that's the starting point here. Unbelievable stuff. And so this is the guy in charge. This is Jimmy Valley right here, Val Hill Capital. And you know, in the last video where I was talking about stuff from them, it was when I was covering that uh, $122,000 valuation, which is a fatally flawed model, which they haven't retracted, but they stopped, they stopped, um, once they realized that they were wrong, they just stopped talking. All of them stopped talking on Twitter. They were very noisy. All of them stopped talking in unison once once uh, people were pointing out that it was flawed. And they haven't retracted it. I, I, just, I don't know why you'd even trust the people that are putting out a $122,000 valuation model. Oh, by the way, I want to forget, forget this at the outset, too. There's another thing I want to tell you at the outset, and I'm going to share the specifics on this. Jimmy Valley uh, put, put Attorney John Deaton 
in this document, which he wants XRP holders to sign, and he didn't talk to attorney John Deaton about it. He's using the credibility of John Deaton's name in this to get people to sign. And, you know, I, I'm at the point where I'm just wondering, because, like, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. And I even said that vi last video this is the point I was going to make uh, where I was covering that $122,000 valuation model. I said, I I've seen people who claim that Jimmy Valley and these others are fraudsters and scammers. And I said, I see no evidence of this. I said, I think they're deeply misguided, but I see no evidence that they are outright scammers and fraudsters. Uh, and fraudsters. And I'm still not going to make the claim that they're outright scamsters and fraudsters and fraudsters and, and breaking the law. But I I'll just tell you this. It, it, it doesn't look good. This is not a good look. I don't know how you can do the things and, and write the things that have been written here and have the program and structure that you have here if you're operating in the, with the, at the foremost, at the front of your mind, you know, if you're thinking about what is good for the XRP holder. Looks to me that if anyone's going to make a bunch of money from this, if it, if it even goes down, it would be Jimmy Valley. And then also the, uh, the, uh, the, the members of the confidential committee who now have a financial incentive to get people to hand over the keys to their XRP and sign up for this. Insane stuff. I just, it's, it's hard to believe that this is absolutely real. And so I tweeted out, if anyone on the XRP confidential committee with Val Hill Capital didn't realize what they were getting involved with, now would be a good time to exit and publicly disavow the group. And so, look, I always want to give the benefit of the doubt. And so when I typed that 11 hours ago, that that's what I had at the forefront of my mind. Now, um, I will say since then, um, I've, I've dug a little bit further and seen some additional tweets. It looks like the confidential committee, they actually were aware of what Jimmy Valley was putting together in this document. And I haven't seen any pushback publicly from any of the confidential committee members. I've seen nothing. They seem to be perfectly fine with this and think it's reasonable. But then again... If, you're, if, you're, if you stand to make a boatload of money from people who hand over, XRP holders, our, our fellow community members who hand over the keys to their crypto, if you, you stand to make money from that, well, maybe, it, maybe it's, you got the financial incentive to not say anything, to just let this happen. And so then I also wrote, in addition to $100 million for Val Hill Capital, it looks like the members of the confidential committee have been assigned the task to sucker XRP holders into signing this legally binding agreement because they'll be paid to recruit them. It says so right here. And folks, it's full screen. And I'll show you, by the way, um, where you can see this full document. It's actually on xrpchat.com and Zerpbox. And I'll, I'll show you where if you want to find it. Uh, you can also go to Crypto Eddie shared the link. I've now shared the link on Twitter. So you can find it there as well. Uh, shouldn't be hard at all. But anyway, so um, I don't know that I need to read the whole thing. It's on your screen if you want to. But the top part is saying, hey, uh, for all reasonable expenses, which we, you know, we're, we're going to pay ourselves back first, Val Hill Capital, expected to be $100 million. And again, where the hell are they coming to pay for this? Is Are they just going to get a, close to $100 million worth of legal work from, uh, you know, the, the Simpson and Thatcher and uh, Sullivan, uh, uh, Sullivan and Cromwell? Did I say that backwards? Whatever. Uh, yeah, Simpson, Thatcher, Sullivan and Cromwell. Uh, are they just going to just out of the goodness of their hearts choose to work and then just, we're just going to do this and you're good for it. We're just going to offer you a net term. You just pay. We're we bet you're good for it, Jimmy Valley. No, <laughs> there's going to be a retainer and then there's going to be something. They got to be confident that you're going to be able to pay him. So where are the millions of dollars going to come from? I, I, how is this even possible? But either way, again, it's so vague here. The, 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 the reasonable reimbursements here. What is it can be anything. Jimmy could decide that his fee it was $2,000 an hour as an attorney. There you go. Going right for an attorney. Okay. And again, if there's nothing bad and nothing left after this is all said, if it even goes through, which I'm highly skeptical of, I'm highly, I, I, there's close to zero chance that this would even go down. But even if it does, what do you get? Big old goose egg because all the money that comes and goes available. And also on top of that, even if this went through, let's be freaking real. This pie in the sky number of $122,000 XRP ain't happening, son. If something goes down, you know what the government pays? The government pays fair market value. And you may have to squabble a little bit over what fair market value is, but it's not $122,000. The global price for XRP is 40 or 41 cents as I record this. So, so think about this. 40, 41 cents, that's what the government will pay. You have to be in fantasy land to think that they're going to pay something exorbitant beyond that when the market price is what it is. Right. And so then think about this. So even if there's market rate and you've handed over the keys to your XRP, what happens? Well, Valo Capital earns you market rate, but then it goes to them to cover their fees, whatever that is. Apparently it could be in the millions. What's left over for you? And even if there is something left over for you, it's going to be a fraction of what you put in. 
Why would you hand over the keys to your crypto? Haven't people learned this lesson before? Which is why it makes me wonder if they're trying to prey on the gullible and the uninformed. And I truly mean that. There are certain people that are just more gullible by nature. Um, and then also there are people that are uninformed. Like, here's an example. And this is and this is not me picking on this guy. Actually, I'm applauding this guy. But a guy, um, when I was talking about this $122,000 valuation on Twitter, he's like, but he's, he brought up the point. He's like, but people thought it was crazy, you know, but Bitcoin going to $69,000, but that happened. Serious question. Why couldn't XRP then hit that or, you know, go to $122,000? And it was a legitimate question, which I genuinely appreciate because he didn't have information that would make it very clear that ain't going to happen. And the obvious answer is that there's 4,000, roughly 4,800 uh, as much, uh, I'm sorry, 4,800 times as much XRP in existence as there is Bitcoin. So it's scarcity. The more rare something is, and if desired, the higher the price. So all things being equal, no. It's, it's not like XRP, XRP is never going to hit those price levels. That's fantasy land gobbledygook nonsense. And so, but he didn't know that. And that's okay, because there was a time when I didn't know that. And there's a time when you didn't know that. And it's smart to ask questions when you don't know things. So I applaud him. But what I'm saying is here, there are XRP holders who maybe they jumped in, they're starting to, to do their research and they're beginning to learn whatever. And they're, if you find the right blend of somebody who isn't informed, especially if they're gullible, those are the people that are going to be signing this document. That's what I'm trying to push back against. There's a certain percentage of people that will fall for this nonsense. It's not good. Even if Jimmy Valley genuinely believes he's operating in good faith, this is going to result in dev financial devastation, if anything, for the for the XRP holder. This is not going to go well. And in the 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 roughly bottom portion of what's on your screen here, this is the part indicating that one percent of uh, what ends up coming back from the government, effectively, uh, that goes to Val Hill Capital. But the caveat being, if you're on the confidential committee and you recruit somebody to sign on the dotted line and hand over the keys of the crypto, then you get a commission. That's right, you get 50% of the 1%. That's paid to you. Well, <laughs> do you see how this is a problem? <laughs> there should be no financial incentive if you're signing people up. It should be done in good faith. This is a horrible model. No, you shouldn't do this. This is garbage. And then Jimmy Valley, actually, you know, uh, or wait, let me go a little bit further. I almost passed this. So Jimmy Valley responded to me. And he said, he wrote to me after I shared, wrote what I just shared with you. And this is what he said. He said to me, you're not reading the term sheet correctly. $100 million is reimbursement for reasonably incurred expenses because Simpson Thatcher and Sullivan Cromwell ain't cheap. We hope the Val Hill fee is way bigger than that. It's 1% of cash consideration, much love. Uh, no, uh, Jimmy Valley, I'm not reading anything incorrectly. And in fact, in my tweets above, I didn't even talk about the $100 million. I specifically talked about the commission model that you have for recruiting, which you, I noticed, didn't respond to. You didn't acknowledge that. As far as the $100 million, yeah, I do have a problem with that, but I didn't read anything incorrectly. I understand what it is. I understand how you wrote it. You get to do whatever you want with it. It's intentionally vague. Oh, I know exactly what you're doing here. It benefits you running this, not the XRP holder. The XRP holder gives up everything, is at an extreme disadvantage, and can't handle it. What do they do with the NFT you give them? You know? And so I wrote to him and I said, you're literally having the confidential committee recruit XRP holders so that they get paid. More money for you, and they get a cut. Also getting reimbursed for all expenses reasonably incurred is intentionally vague. This does not pass the smell test. Then you chucked John Deaton's name in the document without speaking to him to assume his credibility. How can you defend that? There's no reason to do that, and you know he will not accept any gratuity of any kind. John works pro bono for the XRP community. You want a pile of money. If this actually went down as intended, it would make you very rich. As Crypto Eddie said, this is nothing but greed and taking advantage of unassuming XRP holders. And by the way, uh, shout out to Crypto Eddie. She's the one that, um, I, I, that shared this that resulted in me seeing this. And also, uh, it was uh, actually it was where I first thought it was a reply from to Crypto Eddie from XRP community member Moon Chaser. And they shared it because it had leaked on XRP chat. And I'm glad that she shared that so that we can talk about this further because the community needs to be aware of this. This is a warning to everybody listening. Please don't fall for that. I mean, you get to do what you want. You're adults. It's it's not like Jimmy Valley. I didn't see, I don't see anything where he's breaking the or has broken the law. I'm just saying 
this is highly destructive, I think, for the typical, it will be for the typical XRP holder. And as far as the bribery claim, um, I'm not, he, he didn't actually commit bribery yet. This is because he hasn't submitted it to uh, any government agency, so far as I understand. But once submitting it, yeah, then I think you broke the law in all likelihood. And uh, I'll let the attorneys within the XRP community, uh, you know, go back and forth on that. And, uh, you know, if anybody thinks that's not the case, I'm happy to be corrected, but I'm going to show you what I got. I don't know how it could not be bribery. Um, but anyway, um, Jimmy Valley responded to me and he said, well, it was our idea, time and effort. Most people tell me they would be very happy if the deal happens. I guess you would not want to participate, which is fine. And it's not about greed, it's about equity. SEC has caused this situation, not me. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, the SEC caused a hell of a problem. This situation is separate from that. You created this, Jimmy Valley. And yes, that's him literally saying, well, I put the effort, did the work, I need to get paid. And it's not even remotely reasonable. The vague terms of this and that and the power and the protection for him, but no protection for the XRP holder that hands over the keys of their crypto. And no, I don't want to participate in this stupid piece of trash. Hell no, I don't. There's just a zero percent chance I'm giving giving my freaking XRP. Not a snowball's chance in hell. Because again, I want to reiterate this: even if you got anything from the government, which is almost a zero percent chance, it will be fair market value. And then anything you get back, it gets eaten up in the fees that you're going to take for yourself. No, thank you, Jimmy. Not a freaking chance. And so I responded to him and I wrote, "How much of the roughly 100 million dollars would end up in your pocket?" Why are you having people recruit XRP holders to sign this document? At this point, why not go full pyramid scheme and have the recruiters recruit people under them so you earn even more? And of course, at that point, he didn't respond because it, it is like the beginning phase. It's not quite a, a pyramid scheme, but it's, it's almost there. If you just had another layer of people recruiting people and those people recruit more people, you'd be right there. But it's, it's close. It's close. <laughs> and uh, I asked how much of the hundred million is going to go in your pocket. He just he doesn't want to say. He doesn't want to add specifics. And in fact... If it were about protecting the XRP community, you wouldn't put in a percentage. You'd have a low flat rate to cover your expenses to make sure that you, you, know, you make something because your time's worth something fine. It's not $100 million, and it's not a percentage. It, it, who benefits from this? It's not the XRP holder. It's Jimmy Valley and the confidential committee, if it actually were to happen here. And then he at some point also uh, stated that uh, you know, he, we were uh, taking what he was saying out of context and here, here I am, and he always said it was me. I was taking stuff out of context and my fellow XRP YouTuber, Crypto Eddie. What we were doing none of that. We were sharing the link on Twitter so that people could read it in full. We were sharing actual screen grabs and discussing the screen grabs. There's nothing out of context, but that's just something that people say if they just want to deflect. Um, and so after I saw that, I tweeted out, Jimmy Valley just now said that I and Crypto Eddie are taking his cash grab via the confidential committee out of context. BS, and I'm censoring myself there. I wrote, here is the full document, full context, sharing it yet again. And that's the link. You can go to my, my Twitter. You can click on that. It's right there. I would love for everybody to read it. Uh, here's what Crypto Eddie shared. She wrote, look at what the confidential committee plans to make on the deal. No wonder some fell into promoting them. Greed, 100%. And then somebody from the community named Zerpin wrote, and there it is. Exactly. And so most people in the community we, we get that this is a horrible idea. A set intent, intent aside, I'm, I'm, I, like, I'm, I'm more skeptical of the intent after reading this thing. I, I will admit that. But setting the intent aside, just look at the actual content. Don't fall for this. My gosh. And so uh, Crypto Eddie responded, I've been warning. And I'm glad that you have Crypto Eddie. There are a bunch of people speaking. I saw Jungle Inc. speaking out. There are a bunch of other people, uh, well-known uh, well people within the XRP community spreading the word. And... It seems like the vast majority of people were like we're all on the same side, but there's just like this small contingent of people who don't yet understand why this is terrible. And people are allowed to do whatever they want. I'm not saying that Jimmy shouldn't be able to say whatever the hell he wants. I'm not saying that people shouldn't be able to sign on the dotted line. I'm saying that it's about the worst idea that you could follow through with regarding your XRP. It's awful. You might as well just like th 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 get rid of your private key so you can't access it. Every it's, it's, it's probably about equivalent. That would be my guess here. And so um, after Moon Chaser, uh, I saw that tweet from my fellow XRP community member, Moon Chaser. I, uh, I tagged Matt Hamilton, uh, who was a former Ripple employee, and I asked if he'd seen this because he's been debunking all of this nonsense and the valuation model. He's the first one that, that figured out because uh, he had looked into it further, and he's a smart guy. And he figured out that there was this double spin problem that it was a fatal flaw 
for the value, the first valuation model that was put out of $122,000 per XRP. And then everybody, all, all of them, they just stopped talking after that because they, they know they got nothing there. And so uh, Molly Elmore is uh, one of the XRP community members that's on this confidential committee. And Matt Hamilton was uh, on her channel and uh, had this uh, pretty lengthy discussion uh, talking about the, the, the buyback stuff and the valuation, all this stuff. And Matt Hamilton mentioned that, and he said, on Molly Elmore's interview the other day, I said that I guess there would be some kind of handling fee or something. Looks like I was half right. I wasn't expecting it to be quite this, though. Yeah, no kidding, Matt. It's worse than what I... This is, honestly, and I mean this, this is way worse than anything I had ever thought potentially would come out in such with, with such a scheme. This is way worse. And so I wrote back to him and said, yeah, I actually saw that whole video, and I remember on a few occasions... You've wondered if there was a profit motive. Well, your intuition was spot on. Wow, it sounds extreme. And then uh, Matt Hamilton wrote back to me and said, to be fair, I'm actually quite in awe of the balls of the guy. LOL. <laughs> yeah. No kidding here. Which is why I, so I wrote back. I said, yeah, I'm not even mad. I'm really impressed with a little laugh emoji. So blatant. And actually, you know what I had in mind was that scene from Anchorman. You got to love Anchorman. And I, I can't remember exactly how it was worded, but his dog Baxter, he's like he's barking, the, the, the Baxter's barking and trying to get the attention of Ron Burgundy, Will Ferrell's character. It's like, what's that, Baxter? You ate an entire wheel of cheese? I'm not even mad. <laughs> it's something to that effect. I'm kind of paraphrasing, but that's what I had in mind as I was typing. I was like, yeah, that's, that's about right. So <laughs> former Ripple Boy Matt Hamilton says, the balls of this guy, quite in awe. <laughs> yep, that sums it up. Uh, here's another Ripple employee, current Ripple employee. Neil Hartner, who simply wrote WTF and shared this screen grab, uh, showing again the $100 million that's supposed to go to Val Hill Capital for reasonable reimbursements, in, you know, because of expenses incurred. Like, I, 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 I'm assuming I'm preaching to the choir here because the people that are like the, the major conspiracy theorists and believe in all this stuff, I don't think they listen to my channel very much, if at all. They more want like the, the hopium type stuff. I'm sure they're going somewhere else to get that, that fed. But if anybody out there was thinking that any of this made sense, I just encourage you to deeply look into this, especially if you're considering, you're one of the people that considers like, yeah, I'd like to jump into this because it, it wouldn't take that many people jumping in for this to be very beneficial for Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Valley because he's going to get his either way, it looks like. Uh, so it's, it's good for him. And then you're putting everything at stake. I just, mm, just... Think deeply about it. You do whatever. You look inward. Talk to the Jesus. You know, do whatever the hell you got to do. I'm just saying. Uh, and then there's this from my fellow XRP community member, Moon Chaser. Shared this screen grab. And this is a big one. I mentioned this at the outset of the video, too. There's so much crazy crap. Guys, this is absolutely bonkers stuff here. So here's what Moon Chaser wrote. She wrote, so participants are being asked to transfer their XRP into a liquidating trust in return for an E SDR, so that's um, electronic, uh, what do you call it? Electronic strategic drawing rights or something to that effect. It might be on the screen here. I can't remember. I read through the whole thing, but anyway, ESDR. So again, so so, participating, so participants are being asked to transfer their XRP into a liquidating trust in return for an ESDR. But if this scheme fails, the members of the confidential committee, including spouses and descendants, can't be sued for any claims or losses of any kind for 100 years. And if you want to read the text, it's on your damn screen. Screen, it, That's what it says. You can't sue them. Oops, sorry, so sad. We made an oops-a-doodle. Your XRP's gone forever. And it's gone. You seen that South Park episode? And it's gone. Okay. That's what we're looking at here. Um, and then there was also this. Now, let's get into the, the attorney John Deaton stuff. He, he, Neil Hartner, Ripple Ploy, wrote, I have questions. And he shared this part. Uh, where and this is where Jimmy Valley just decided to use Attorney John Deaton's good name, just plugged it in without even talking to him about it, because John Deaton's credible, and Jimmy Valley needs to look like a credible people are surrounding him, right? How does this work if he doesn't look credible? And you can see the text on the screen here. Um, so yeah, it says will it, I'll just read the highlight part. Will include an amount to be paid to the Deaton Law Firm. So again, the whole thing's on your screen there. You can look this up yourself. You can see the full document. Completely bonkers and really gross to just hijack Attorney John Deaton's name 
uh, and just kind of hang on his credibility. That's like as bad as all this is, it's like on a personal level, that was the most repulsive because that's a real person right there. Everything else, it's like, I mean, yeah, horrible for XRP holders if they choose to participate in this. I don't think anything good will ever come of this. And that is horrible. But, like, he specifically was latching on to Attorney John Deaton's good name there. And I just like, Attorney Jesse Hines uh, wrote to Neil Hartner and said, I don't imagine John agreed to this. This is probably that nonsense group of people, Val Hill or whatever, trying to seem more reasonable. Yeah, it is. He's exactly right. He didn't even know what this was. He came across this tweet, Attorney Jesse Hines, and he's like, oh, it's probably those Vail Hill guys, the nonsense group. Yep, it's the nonsense Vail Hill group. He didn't even look at it any further. He just knew. And then Neil Hartner wrote back and said, that makes sense, since I've never seen him mention any involvement, concerning if they are attaching his name to this for legitimacy without his consent. Very concerning indeed. Let me take a sip of water here. <clears throat> Next. Uh, and this is where Attorney Deaton jumps in. Oh, yes. I don't know if I mentioned that at the outside of the video, but Attorney Deaton had some stuff to say about this because he has no part of this whatsoever. So here's what John Deaton wrote. To be clear, I have not asked anybody for any money or for any contribution of any kind whatsoever associated with my efforts in the Ripple R Library cases. I've turned many people down who offered to contribute for my time and my expenses. Not only have I never been paid a dime... <clears throat> but I have spent a considerable amount of my own funds fighting the SEC's overreach, such as hiring local attorneys to file the appropriate paperwork for my appearances, appearances, etc. I am doing this because I can and because it's the right thing to do. And so I do want to pause here to make sure that I made this clear enough, and just in case I didn't. What was written by Jimmy Valley in this buyback document was that money was going to go to attorney John Deaton. And it does make him look connected, but he's not connected. So I just want to be super duper clear in case anybody was wondering the purpose of J J John Deaton being listed. That's it. And then John Deaton wrote this next tweet in all caps. To be clear, I have zero expectation to be paid. Although I truly appreciate people's gratitude for my efforts, I will continue to turn down any and all offers regarding any form of payment from anyone regarding my efforts associated with XRP or LBC. And then he continues and says, unless I file an appearance as a defense counsel representing a company that is being sued by the SEC, my efforts will continue to be pro bono. I will not accept any money from any token holders related to my efforts. Many XRP holders and some non-XRP holders have expressed significant gratitude for my efforts and people have made comments like, when this happens, i.e. XRP goes up, I'm going to dot dot dot, and they include my name and a generous gesture. I can't control that. I hope this answers any questions. So there it is. Attorney John Deaton acknowledging he can't control what Jimmy Valley does. He just put it in there. He just did it. I don't like that one bit. I do not like that one bit. And so I wrote uh, here in response to that thread to John Deaton, I wrote, wow, so they literally just chucked your name in this document without any sort of discussion or agreement with you? Is their intent to hang on the wings of your credibility while providing this highly suspect offering? This whole thing they're doing just keeps getting weirder. And then there was this from Crypto Eddie. Uh, she was responding to something from Jimmy Valley because Jimmy Valley was accusing Crypto Eddie of leaking this buyback document, which is not true. And it's provably not true. Jimmy Valley wrote, the real question is why did Crypto Eddie leak the term sheet? We did not leak it. She did. Why? And here was Crypto Eddie's response. <clears throat> to be clear, <clears throat> term sheet was public on XRP chat. Leak is in your committee. Not okay to use John Deaton's name like this and send to government entities without telling him. Share your commission fine. Why not quietly? Using his name to influence others to support your scheme is wrong. Exactly. And so again, with behavior like this, I don't know how anybody could even trust the guy. Does, doesn't this erode any sort of credibility? Doesn't it erode? I, I, I don't understand how anybody gives this guy a dime or a single XRP. You're going to trust that? And again, it's just this whole thing of people, and, and again, not retracting the valuation model, and then the, the crazy valuation model is what makes it possible in theory for these gigantic payouts that the XRP holders are allegedly, allegedly going to get if they hand over their XRP. It's not happening, folks. That's why, to me, it seems like a trick. They can't believe the valuation model. They shut up about it after it was shown to have a fatal flaw. They shut up about it.
And now they're pumping out other valuation models, which are just as kooky. More on that in another video. But uh, th that's what this is based on. It's just gross to me. It, it's just... They have to know if any of this goes down, it's fair market value for XRP. And I don't... Th it's so infinitely unlikely this is going to happen. That's why, like, to me, I'm just like, who is going to fall for this? Well, like I said, the people who are least informed, newer to crypto, perhaps... And, and maybe some people who, by nature, are a bit more gullible than others, and, and that's sickening to me. I just, I just, I'm not, I'm not cool with this. And then Crypto Eddie also wrote, for an attorney, you sure are sloppy with your accusations. It was public and being discussed on XRP Chat, which has been the public forum for the community since 2012. I imagine you are not even aware of it. <laughs> no kidding. And by the way, here it is, right here. So if you go to XRPChat.com, you can click on Zerpbox right here. This is the link right here. That leads you to the document. You can read it for yourself. It was first shared right there, February 3rd, 7.51 a.m. Central Standard Time, because that's my time zone. That's it. That's where it came from. And then all these accusations that crypto, oh, she's leaking this. No, she's not on the confidential committee. What the hell are you talking about? Somebody from inside your group leaked it. And I'm glad. So we can talk about this and hopefully, you know, cut this thing off before some... You know, people who are susceptible to falling for this, if they're maybe newer to crypto or whatever, we can kind of at least I mean, give them the information. So if they want to do it, they can do it. OK, and I'm not asserting that Jimmy Valley has done or is doing anything illegal, but uh, it doesn't mean that this isn't severely lopsided in his favor because, oh, it sure as hell is. Oh, it sure as hell is. Crypto Eddie also wrote, Dear XRP community, why would you ever support people and channels that supported the Val Hill uh, capital buyback? They are now leading you to believe John is involved for the profit. Terrible, shameful. Spot on, Crypto Eddie. I'm glad she's calling it out. A voice of reason. Now let's get into the bribery stuff. Uh, 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 former Ripple employee Matt Hamilton, he went through this document, and uh, he came to this part having to do with bribery, and he wrote, Wow, I'm not a lawyer, and I don't know what is and isn't allowed specifically in the United States, but wouldn't offering to pay legislators and regulators if they supported this constitute bribery? Or is this just business as usual? And here is what he shared. It's, it, it, this is the screen grab from the document. And I don't feel the need to read the whole thing, but you can see if you want to take the time to read through it. Uh, he's saying 5% of whatever would come. So this is, by the way, so this is on top of the, all of the funds getting paid back to Val Hill, the 1% going to him, the 50% of the 1% of that going to confidential committee members. Then on top of that, 5% of whatever comes through would go to, to uh, elected officials in the House and the Senate. Then a separate 5% would go to the CFTC and SEC, so on and so forth. It's on your screen if you want to read the whole thing. So that's on top of all of that. And then if there's anything left, you might get some. Okay, that's ridiculous. But he's, he's literally saying here, for elected officials that, uh, that make this happen, you're going to get a financial reward. That there's, no way that's, that, there's no way that's legal, right? How could it possibly be? And so uh, Crypto Eddie shared um, the United States um, code here, uh, what is it, 18 USC C1B, and so I looked it up. Uh, 18 U.S. Code Section 201, Bribery of Public Officials and Witnesses. She said that this is the part that's relevant, so I looked it up, and it seems perfectly relevant. Uh, what did you say it was? C C1B. Okay, let's go down to C1B. Let me scroll, scroll, scroll on down here. And so here we go. Whoever, otherwise than as provided by law for the proper discharge of official duty, being a public official, a uh, former public official, or person selected to be a public official, Otherwise, then, as provided by law for the proper discharge of official duty, directly or indirectly, demands, seeks, receives, accepts, or agrees to receive or accept anything of value personally for, it, for or because of any official act performed or to be performed by a such official or person. And so, again, um, I, I, clearly, Jimmy Valley has not engaged in bribery because this is a draft of the document that has not been sent in. Now, if it's submitted, would that be illegal? Um, I'll let the attorneys within the XRP community uh, share their thoughts because I'm not an attorney. I'm just, all I'm saying is on the surface because this is as far as I can go not being an attorney is it sounds like it would be illegal. So, because again, it, it, understand this doc, this is a document that would be sent to them, that he'd be working with them and then it would happen or not happen. 
Well, if it happens and they know that they're going to get a financial reward, I don't know how that wouldn't be bribery, but if there's some sort of technical legalese way where it wouldn't, okay, I'm open to that. Everything else is so damning anyway. Even if this isn't bribery or wouldn't be bribery in the future, should it happen? Okay, fine. Let Jimmy Valley have that one. Everything else is complete and utter trash and will wreck people financially. So, okay, all yours, Jimmy Valley. And by the way, if it is bribery, though, I came across this just through a Google search. It's this piece right here. Um, the penalties for bribery of a public official includes a fine of up to three times the value of the bribe and imprisonment for up to 15 years in a federal penitentiary. A conviction can also disqualify the individual from holding any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. So there you go. Hopefully it's not bribery, If uh, should it go through. Uh, but again, I just... With all of this and everything that you now know about this, do you want to hand the keys to your XRP over to Jimmy Valley? Does this make you want to give it over a little bit more? Or if you were thinking about it, do you, do you see like why it's a ridiculously risky proposition? Do you see why the valuation models are completely absurd and don't work? And do you see why it's to their benefit to make you believe that those, those, those valuation models are realistic so that you're more likely to hand over your XRP to get the crazy cash? See how that just happens to work? They don't need most people to agree. They don't need, they, I don't even know what they care that they have people like me screaming out against them. Not that much. I mean, it's not like, they, like Jimmy Valley would like this. But as long as they get even just a small number of people, you would think that would be enough for it to be financially worth it. You can just sucker in a few people. You got it. Right? This is trash. Please don't fall for this. Spread the word. Read the document yourself if you don't believe me. But that's why I wanted to be clear. I showed, I showed you where to get the links. I showed you the specific snippets of all the things that I asserted at the outset of the video. It's real stuff. And Jimmy Valley, I just noticed how he's, you know, the stuff about John Deaton. He's completely silent. He's responding to me until I pressed him on the John Deaton stuff. And then when I asked him, uh, how much of that $100 million is going to go to Valho Capital? Then he's silent. Isn't that convenient? Run and hide, Jimmy Valley. Run and hide. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Family Sedan.